just spent a few minutes with Stephanie Baldwin. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> now, uh, for our guests of the Society, Seven Sea Society, those are guests who sailed with us before. You mm -hmm. did do a little teaser for us a couple nights ago. It was very nice. Well, it was. I kind of used it as a commercial for my show that's going to be this evening. So I did a few selections from uh, the classical show that you'll see tonight. Yeah. Now, you've uh, been, while well, you've not been here and you and you and Michael have been on vacation and you've been working hard on your performing. I mm -hmm. know you have a, a very interesting voice teacher now you've been working with in New York. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Eric Michael Gillette. And he, like me, has an interesting uh, past of performing and um, my my interesting thing is doing the pageants and his interesting thing is that he was the singing ringmaster for Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey for 11 years. He had the shows designed completely around him. Mm -hmm. And um, I was set up with him because my voice teacher in California was his voice teacher for 20 years. Oh, really? Because uh, he's from the Los Angeles area hmm. as well. And so he's been my mentor, my teacher, my director for my shows in New York. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out um, on the ship talking with Dana mm -hmm. that they, Dana was in a show with Eric Michael mm -hmm. Gillette a few years ago in uh, Las Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah, it was more than a few years ago, well. but you're very sweet. <laughs> but yeah, Dana's my wife. More than five. Her, uh, one of my assistant cruise directors, a world cruise hostess. So uh, yeah, so she was thrilled to, to hear that. Uh, yeah. and uh, So that's good. It just proves what a small world it is. And even uh, in the performing world, it's a very, very small indeed. Mm -hmm. Now, you're just sailing with us till Taipei. Yes. And then you're going to be going back to New York. Have some callbacks. Yes, yeah. I have a, a very exciting job opportunity, but I don't want to jinx myself yeah. by talking about it yet. Mm -hmm. So, we'll yeah. see. So, we want to see you back, but if we don't, it's for good reason. Right. And besides, Michael comes home in Dubai, so yes. that's not too bad either. Oh, that, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? All right, but uh, so, and you have debuted a new show in New York, but you're not prepared to do it here? Right, I'm not going to do that mm -hmm. show. That's a, a Broadway show, mm -hmm. uh, Sing Stage to Screen. Mm -hmm. uh, the show that I'm going to do tonight is Classical and More. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of classical music, some arias, some uh, operetta, uh, and then a couple Broadway and some crossover hits. So a lot of things that you'll know. Yeah. Well, you sang beautifully a couple of nights ago. Thank you. And I know you're going to sing beautifully tonight. And before you go, too, tell us a little bit about the um, uh, Miss America pageant and where you were Miss California. Well, um, gosh, it was... Uh, Just a couple uh, of years ago, too. Yeah, right. <laughs> More than five <laughs> as well. <laughs> But uh, it was a, just a, such a wonderful experience. I was awarded over $27,000 in scholarships, mm. which allowed me to, it helped while I was in my bachelor's degree, and then it completely paid for my master's degree mm -hmm. in teaching credential. Uh, and I was able to start traveling and performing. I was able to work on my public speaking skills, and I just had a wonderful, wonderful time with it. Yeah, but you know, when I think about that, it, if you think of all the states, you won it in the biggest state, where I would think that there was the most competition. I mean, the California. It, it is one those. of the biggest yeah. uh, competitions. However, I will tell you, another state that usually has the largest or mm -hmm. one of the largest states, and you may not be surprised to hear what it is, Utah. Really? Huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who would have guessed? I mean, Mississippi, Louisiana, southern states are, are, mm -hmm. are bigger too, but Utah and California for some reason were the... Interesting. Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to say something like Rhode Island or Delaware. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> or something. Those are small, yeah. predictably so. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I'm sure, no offense, I'm sure very nice talent comes out of there, but I would think California, you know, with the sheer population and the demographics, you know. Yes, and being be Hollywood yeah. and, and all that, yeah. so, yeah. I don't know. That must have been very exciting. It was. So, it really uh, was. when it was you and the other lady standing out there <laughs> deciding who was going to get the crown, that's got to be a... More than nerve wracking. Well, honestly. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. What? I uh, know. I know. No, no. I was thinking about something of the story. Oh, have no, you heard? No, have I told ahead. you about more? I just remember well, something. Well, it's. I didn't think I did very well in my top mm -hmm. five question. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I blew it. But I'm in the top five. Yay! Oh, really? And uh, yeah, and then and then when it got down to um, Kimberly and myself, the woman who became the first runner up. She had beat me at a local pageant two months before, mm -hmm. and then she won talent prelim on our night. Oh, really? And so when she and I were standing there, and I hadn't done well in my question, I started to congratulate her and tell her how happy I was for her, and congratulations, I'm so excited for you. And the last thing I remember her saying was, don't say that. And then they said, her name is the first runner-up, and I thought, 
So there's there's pictures of me going, huh? Because I, you know, I think you said the With wrong me? thing. So yeah, it was. Right. I I wasn't nervous at all because I thought she won. That's a good thing you, you said that. For you. Anyway, I was thinking of something else about the year that it happened. It oh, was actually uh, two thousand and one. Yes. One, and uh, that was uh, wasn't the pageant postponed for a while. It or? actually was not postponed. Uh, what Jamie's referring to is uh, we arrived in Atlantic City on September 9th, 2001, and two, two days later, our country was attacked. Mm -hmm. And uh, because the patient was 10 days later, we ended up, after a couple of days of regrouping and, and uh, just grieving with the country and, and whatnot, uh, mm -hmm. we decided to go on with it because mm -hmm. it still was 10 days mm -hmm. later. So. Okay. I knew there was something with... I didn't mean to act so surprised like you when you they said you're Miss, <laughs> you're Miss California. Anyway, Stephanie, tonight at uh, 545, classics and more. Don't miss her in the Constellation Theater. Stephanie, thanks for joining me today. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.